<sighs> but yeah, like I don't want to be disingenuous. I don't want to. I don't want to seem like, oh, well, you know, she's moving on to another guy doing the same thing. Like, that's just not the case. Like, I love people. Like, I do genuinely love people, and that's just a part of my personality. But it's like, like, I don't know, like, everything I am and, like, just how much I care about people has just been attributed to things that are awful. So then it just feels like, it just feels like who I am has just been robbed. Genuinely, I've just been mugged off as they say um and it's ridiculous because the man has been like well i'll forgive you but i can't forget and people only say that when they're doing neither of those things because the thing is when someone is telling you oh well she's gonna kill you she's gonna kill me she's gonna kill all these people like they're lying to you they're manipulating your fears so for you to sit in the corner and cry or to change your lifestyle based on something that just isn't going to happen based on a fear that has been given to you by someone who's not myself. Um, it's very obvious that that's avoidable pain. It's something that you don't need to go through. So it's just, it's just gross because I do feel like I've just been robbed of myself and I've been like left to live in this. Well, this man won't talk to me, won't forgive me for everything that I did. And like, that's not the case. And someone sits in front of you and talks about these things and it's like, well, they weren't stalking you, they weren't doing these things. That should provide some relief. And you should be like, well, that's the case. But when you're still facilitating hate, when you're still talking about this person to your friends, your family members, to other patients, who then in turn believe it's okay to bully, to say weird things, to lie, straight up lie to yourself, lie to myself, because uh, you don't know these people. You can't trust. You can't be like, well, I met a teenage girl, but at least she's not Penelope. Like, that's sick. <laughs> that's so fucking sick. Because now I'm in a place where it's just like, I have to live pathetically, you know? Because I'm not this lovely person. I'm this evil person. Evil. I'm evil. I keep forgetting that. But according to this man, I'm evil. So I'm just being forgiven for just being that. And that's disgusting because my parents didn't give birth to someone who is that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just gross. You know, I don't want to, like, live in a hole where I'm like, well, this man won't talk to me and, like, forgive me for things. Forgiving someone for something that they didn't do is the most evil thing I've ever heard of, genuinely. Because you are still holding on to this very hateful rhetoric based on something that you believe is right. An evil that goes unrecognized is the worst evil of all. So when these girls are lying to you and people are like, well, Penelope probably knows this. Penelope probably is doing this. Penelope is going to kill you. Penelope is like, that never came from myself. If you were to think about the things that were actually said from myself, none of it adhered any fear in itself. Someone sitting at a coffee shop is not them threatening you. Someone talking to you, asking how you are, is not them threatening you. Someone saying, oh, well, this girl only did these things because she wanted to kill you. That is where the real danger lies. And it's just exhausting because we have a meeting and now I feel a lot worse. A lot worse. Of course, it's so patronizing for someone to be like, well... I'll forgive you, but I can't forget. Great. So I'm a piece of shit, and I'm back to that. I'm like, I don't know. That's it. My parents didn't give birth to that. They didn't give birth to an awful person. They gave birth to a good person. And you knew this. Because you didn't find me awful to begin with. And that would be a lie if you said you did. 